Burger King on Decula Road got to step their game up, yo, for real. The fries wasn't even hot, yo. I mean, who? how can you eat a meal without the fries? Yo, the fries got to be hot, B. Work. The fries got to be hot. Every time I go to Shake Donald's, the fries be hot. You got a window when you got to eat the fries. It's like a quick little window. They, you got to eat it quick. Or they be, I'm not going front. They don't be good. But Burger King, yo, y'all got to step your game. Decula Road. Went up there the other day. They didn't have no buns. How y'all don't have no buns? Who don't have no buns? You got to have buns, right? Mizzle with Mac, baby. Holla at me. All right, so I'm back. I ain't did a video in a minute, but I feel like it's time for me to get back in front of this camera, yo, for real, because the dog world is crazy right now. COVID-19 is crazy. Kids ain't going back to school. Burger King doesn't have buns. And they don't give you hot fries. And I feel like it's only right I do a little bit of Mizzle and Mac Rock while I talk. So I'm here for your entertainment because nobody else is going to do it. So I figured let me go ahead and do it. So here's my boy right here. Everybody know Batman. He's chilling with me. One of my five Rottweilers. With, uh, he's definitely the most the most spoiled, I guess, out of all of them. All the rest of my dogs are female. So um, he's like another son. So he, he tends to you know rock with me wherever we're with me. So we just got back from a trip. I'm going to throw some clips of the trip. We took a road trip up to Boston. I had a dog that I imported um, from Romania, from Agba Falls, from my people, Colin and Simona. Um, and I transported the dogs to New Hampshire. So I'm from Boston, so naturally I was going to stop in the bean. So I did that. And I'm pretty sure y'all seen the pictures and stuff that I was taking while I was up there. So I had a very good time. Um, and... You know, a lot of different things happened when I was up there. Do my test so you can see. They match my name. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice. You just woke up? Mm -hmm. Okay, Daddy's gonna go drop the dogs off, okay? Say FTD. FTD. Rot Waller. Rot Waller. That's pretty good. <laughs> Where we going? Boston. You gonna have a good time? Who you gonna go see? No, who up there? Who's in Boston? Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Who else is in Boston? Granddaddy. Oh yeah. You gonna bring the dogs with you? Yes. You are. Okay. <laughs> so we getting ready. Time to go. Drop these dogs off. So drop off the dogs. Um, Chickadee Boo, Misha, Diora, and Harley. Are, um, gonna go to the border while we hit the road on this road trip, going up to the Bean. You know what I mean? Ain't been in a little minute, so, you know, taking a road trip. Of course, we're going to bring Mac. So, got to load up the truck here. Yeah, it's going to be a good trip. Can you see them? I don't know if you can see our dogs, but this is the kennels. They'll be here for a week. There goes Harley right there. What? Mike is calling you. See you later, Harley. Harley, chickadee boo. I don't 
don't know where Michi and Dior is at, but they go Harley and Chickadee Boo right there. In that uh, second to last kennel. They in the uh, kennel together. So they'll be together for a week. Yeah. Time to roll out. Head down to the airport. Gotta go pick up another dog. Let's go. So now we about to swerve to the airport. Gotta go pick up another dog, right? What dog? My name is Jasmine. No, we bringing her to, um, we ain't gonna hit the cat, are we? Where's the cat at? Oh, right there. Yeah, so this dog that I'm about to go pick up from the airport, um, about to transport this dog up to New Hampshire. So, Are you saying that you didn't do that when you was little? Yes. You did do that. Yes. I know you did that. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, you did it. Y'all gonna miss the dogs? Or are you gonna be happy to have a break? Miss them, you gonna be happy to have a break. Yes. Yo, let me tell y'all something. My kids, right? How old are you? Say how old you are. Eleven. How old are you, Carmichael? Eight. Yo, they handle dogs better than grown men. Eleven and eight years old can handle big, hundred plus pound Rottweilers better than grown men. There's no excuse for y'all bums. There's no excuse. So. I see a lot of y'all don't know how to position the dog. My 11 year old son takes the pictures of the dogs and all that. So, you know, you gotta teach them why they're young. Teach them why they're young, that way they be nice when they get older. So we on our way to the airport though, we're gonna pick up this dog that we're gonna hit the road in a couple hours. About 16 to 18 hour drive, depending on how much you stop. So. It's always best to drive when um, you got the, as much daylight because I mess around and go to sleep I'm driving at nighttime. So, y'all hungry? Yes. What you want to eat? Maybe Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts? What the hell? <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts? You got Dunkin' Donuts money? No. What part of the game is that? <laughs> Part of the game is that FTD Roddy Gang. That's how we do it, baby. Let's get it. That's Mac right there. Check it out. Yo, you gotta put plastic and shit on your seats. Otherwise, these dogs ruin your stuff. See, he been in here five minutes. Look at the hair right here. Bam. So, see how clean. My car is well. It's really a um, mid-sized SUV, whatever. But you see how clean it is with the dog. You gotta keep the joint clean. So I'm about to go get a sheet and cover cover up the back the way the head don't get on. This makes it a little bit easier. Back up your car to the ramp. Back up your car to the ramp, and then they bring the dogs out. Got the passport coming from Romania. Shout out to my peoples out there. 
Akbar Force Kennel. You know, that's my fam. All the way in Romania, shipping me the Rottweilers and all that. And I'ma get this dog and I'ma immediately hit the road, head up that 95 North straight to New Hampshire. So, let's get it. Let's back this uh this truck up right here in the, in the ramp. Hey. You got a thing for the zip tie? Yeah, you got the zip tie. Yeah, you can put it right. Import business, baby. Big business. Yasmin, Akbar Force Yasmin. She had a long trip, so now she's coming home with me. Coming home with me for five minutes, then we're going to New Hampshire. Good looking pup. Somebody's dog's over there barking. Honestly, not one of the rock ball rolls up there. Where the rock balls at? I see mad pitch, chihuahuas, all types of shit. Come here. Look. But I didn't see no rock ball. I was walking down the blocks, chilling, had Mac with me. People would stop me. Yo, where you get out of that? Where you get him from? Walking through the projects, taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was asking like, yo, where you get done at? That's a raw wallet. And of course, ignorant Negroes gonna say, oh, you, why you didn't cut the tail? Yo, he was born in Europe, dude, so they gonna cut the tails over there. But they don't know, so. But it was a good little trip. I ain't going front. I had a good time. My nigga, I swear, it ain't nothing like being up in the city, B. I'm telling you. Yeah, it should feel good to be back up here, yo. For real. Just order me some pizza and shit, so I'm chilling. I guess it was really good to see my grandmother. My aunt came in from Cali. She lived in San Fran, so she came in. My other aunts that lived there, Sheila, Andrea. Seeing some, a lot of my cousins, a lot of my people. For everybody who I didn't get to see, I'm sorry. What's funny is, Y'all really don't want to see me anyway. Y'all want to see the kids. Letters falling. Y'all want to see the kids, y'all. I know y'all want to see the kids. Y'all be playing like y'all want to see me. No, y'all y'all want to see me. I was happy that y'all see me. But a lot of people want to see Batman too. He's a star. You know what I mean? Everybody want to see him. They see him on the pictures all the time when I be posting him. On the book, on the gram, you know what I'm saying? Little video clips and stuff like that. So a lot of things change in the city. Like... It's bugged out to me to see, like, you know, Dudley ain't Dudley no more. They call it Nubian Square, Nubian Notion Square, whatever they're calling it. Um, Ashmont ain't Ashmont. Look up. Mad condos blowing up everywhere. Like, gentrification is really taking effect in Boston. Like, it's, it's bugged out. I didn't see that coming. But... It really cleans it up a lot. There's still a lot of spots that's filthy. I'm not going front, but for the most part, the city looks pretty clean.
just felt good to be in Roxbury, yo, because everybody know I'm from the Berry, and I love where I'm from. Um, it's just in me, like, yeah, I might live in GA, but if something ever happened to me, shit, my body back to Boston immediately. You see what I'm saying? Bury me in the soil when I was born. Dead ass, cause um, it's just it's just in me. No matter how how long I'm away from home, when I go back, it's like I never left. Besides seeing stuff that they change, I went through all my old neighborhoods. I went through Academy. I went through Elm Hill. I went through Grove Hall. Um, you know, like just like I said, a lot of things change. Um, ate a lot of my favorite, you know, pizza spots. Um, a lot of good food. I went down to Providence. I went to Atterboro because you know, I used to stay out there too, and just seeing all my peoples and you know people I ain't seen in a little minute. Um, and it's good. It was good to get uh to get Mac out there. I, I posted a clip. I'll probably add it to this video too. Uh, um, Mac riding on the subway. <laughs> Water angle is crazy. City, yo, like you, you know, dogs riding the subway. You know, it ain't like New York got a rule like where you gotta, the dog gotta be like wrapped up in a bag or something like that, like something crazy. Like, but in Boston, they ain't like that. Like, dogs just hop on the subway, just riding the train. So he was real, he was real chill about it. Like, people seeing the clip, like, you know, the train goes pretty fast and he wasn't acting nervous. Yo, socializing. Let them be well balanced. Get them out there where they can experience different stuff. You know, I don't. I can understand why people just leave a dog in the backyard, like and chain the dog up. Why? A dog wants to be a part of your pack. Wants to be a part of you. You know what I'm saying? So, why would you just leave a dog chained up in the back? Try to get busy with videos more and more because y'all liked it. I was getting a lot of views in my videos. I don't know why I stopped doing it, but I just got too busy. And you know, I got like 10 kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got baby mothers and stuff like that. Let me stop. I don't got no baby mothers, <laughs> but I'm just, you know, a busy person. But I like doing videos like this where I'm talking about the dogs and things going on in my life and putting these different clips in. Entertaining, and I just dropped. He's eating a tomato. Fucking burger king. Just came from picking my dogs up. Indian shows, pet resort. I gotta hook them up to the trailer. Nice place. It's how you got transport dogs. You got a lot of dogs like me. So you transport. So luckily, I only have to go like seven minutes down the road so it's not far because it gets hot you don't want to keep them in here it gets, it gets hot so so yeah indian shows pet resort right here dope place but anyway if you like me you love me like share and subscribe to the video and i'm gonna check you in the next one peace
Roxbury story. Roxbury story. Of the good times and the glory. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man.